Welcome to Secure Simplicity, your first step to eliminating mealtime insulin injections. To help you get started, this video will guide you through how to use the Secure Simplicity 3-Day Insulin Patch. This video does not replace the complete instructions you receive from your healthcare professional. Please remember to read all instructions before using Secure Simplicity. Use the patch only with U100 rapid-acting insulin, Humalog or Novolog. Use your patch for rapid-acting insulin needs at mealtimes and snack times, or for correcting high blood glucose. Do not fill your patch with long-acting insulin or any other insulin medication. Do not directly expose your patch to oils, lotions, or sunscreen. This is Sandy. She will show you how to prepare your supplies, fill and prime your patch, place the change by sticker on your patch, prepare your application site, place the patch on your body, and finally, dosing and safety features of the patch. Let's get started. Gather the supplies needed to prepare the patch. A package with the patch, fill syringe, and needle. The inserter, which is reusable, dose count card, change by stickers, alcohol wipes, and a vial of Humalog or Novolog rapid-acting insulin. First, check the patch packaging to make sure it is sealed and not damaged. Then make sure the 2U per button squeeze on the patch label matches what was prescribed by your healthcare professional and that the use-by date has not expired. Wash your hands with soap and water. Then clean the rubber top of the insulin vial with an alcohol wipe. Peel off the label from the patch packaging. Remove the inner tray containing the syringe and needle and set it aside. Fill your patch with rapid-acting insulin for your bolus dose needs. A bolus dose refers to rapid-acting insulin used for meals, snacks, and correcting high glucose levels, as instructed by your healthcare professional. The patch may be worn for up to three days, so fill the patch with enough insulin to last for up to three days. You must first fill each patch with a minimum of 100 units. The maximum amount is 200 units. Please note that 20 units are used to prepare the patch for dosing. Follow these patch fill instructions unless otherwise instructed by your healthcare professional. If you need to bolus more than 180 units over three days, you will replace your patch in less than 72 hours. To figure out how much insulin you need for the patch, add up all doses of rapid-acting insulin for one day. This includes rapid-acting insulin for meals, snacks, and correcting high glucose. Multiply this number by three then add 20 units. For example, let's say you take 30 units of rapid-acting insulin a day. 30 units times 3 days plus 20 units is 110 units. Therefore, you would fill your patch with 110 units of rapid-acting insulin. Time to fill the syringe with insulin. Remove the fill syringe and capped needle from the inner tray. Twist the yellow needle cap onto the syringe until secure. You will see a gap between the yellow cap and the syringe. Remove the white needle cap. Pull the plunger to draw air equal to the amount of insulin we calculated. For our example, this is 110 units. Insert the needle tip into the center of the insulin vial cap and push all the air into the vial. With the needle tip still in the insulin vial, Turn the vial upside down and pull the plunger to draw the amount of insulin you calculated into the syringe. Tap the syringe and push the plunger lightly to push air back into the vial. Confirm the correct amount of insulin is in the syringe. If not, pull the plunger back to fill. Then pull the needle tip out of the vial. To fill the patch, hold the tray firmly with the patch in an upright, vertical position. Insert the needle and syringe straight into the blue cap. Slowly, push the plunger to fill the patch with all the insulin. 
Pull the syringe straight out and dispose of the needle and syringe in a sharps container according to local regulations. Do not reuse the fill syringe and needle. Do not recap used needles. Priming removes all the air and ensures that the patch's internal tubing is fully filled with insulin before you dose. Carefully remove the patch from the tray, picking up the patch by the blue cap. To prevent accidental needle exposure, do not hold the patch by the red cap. Hold the patch firmly in a vertical position with the blue cap facing you and the clear window below the blue cap. Tap the clear window to move any large bubbles or air gap to the top of the notch. With the bubbles or air gap at the top of the notch, squeeze the tan buttons until any large bubbles or air gap disappear. You can ignore any small air bubbles. Once the air is removed, squeeze the tan buttons four more times to prime the tubing in the patch. Be careful not to squeeze the buttons more than four times, as this can cause insulin to leak out around the blue cap. This step ensures that the tubing is filled so insulin, not air, is delivered when you first dose the patch. The patch is now primed. The Change By stickers remind you of the day and time to change the patch. As an example, let's say it is now Monday afternoon and you just filled the patch with enough insulin to last you three days. Count forward three days to Thursday afternoon. Peel off the sticker and place it on the patch. You will now prepare the site on your body where you will place the patch. You should choose a different site for your patch when you place a new patch. Using the same site over and over may increase the risk of infection and may cause hard areas under the skin, which keeps insulin from being used properly. Follow the advice from your healthcare professional for rotating patch sites. To choose the application site, stand up and find a place with fatty tissue. Make sure it's at least two inches from your belly button, away from the waistband and belt line area, and a different spot from your last patch site. If needed, remove body hair, as the adhesive will stick better to clean-shaven skin. Avoid areas that are reddened or irritated. Avoid scar tissue, piercings, and tattoos. Be sure your hands are clean and dry prior to patch insertion. Do not use lotion, perfume, or medication on the skin where you plan to use the patch. Avoid soaps with perfume and moisturizers. Use a new alcohol wipe to clean a 4 by 6 inch area where the patch will be applied. Then let the site dry completely. You will use the inserter to automatically place the patch on your body and insert the introducer needle and cannula a tiny soft plastic tube into your skin. After you remove the introducer needle, the cannula stays in your skin and provides the pathway for delivering insulin. The inserter has a yellow safety that unlocks the green button. Pressing the green button then inserts the needle into your skin. To place the patch into the inserter, pick up the patch by the blue cap and place it into the inserter in either direction. Be sure you've prepared your skin with a new alcohol wipe. Hold the inserter with both hands and use your thumbs to push down on both the blue cap and the patch until you hear a click. You will see a cylinder pop out on the other side. The patch is now locked in a spring-loaded position, so do not unlock or press the green button until the inserter is placed properly against your body. You will now expose the introducer needle. Do not point the needle at your face or at other people to avoid accidental injury. Squeeze the grips at both ends of the blue cap and carefully begin to pull the cap straight up and out of the inserter. Be careful not to bend the needle as you pull up the cap. Continue until liners are removed and the adhesive is fully exposed. Check that the needle is straight and not bent. Now, place the inserter with the patch firmly against your prepared site. Then slide the yellow safety and press the green button down to place the patch on your body. Press down on the raised cylinder firmly with the palm of your hand for 10 seconds. 
Then lift the inserter away. The inserter is reusable, so put it in a safe place to be used for future patch applications. To remove the needle, squeeze the clear sides of the red cap and pull it straight out. The cannula stays in your skin. Put the red cap in a sharps container and throw away according to local guidelines. Press down firmly on the patch with the palm of your hand for 10 seconds to secure it to your body. The patch is prepared and ready to dose. When you need a bolus dose, squeeze the tan buttons. You will hear a click as your patch delivers insulin. Two units per squeeze. Count by twos for each button squeeze. For eight units of insulin, count two, four, six, eight. The first time you squeeze the tan buttons on a newly attached patch, it delivers 1.7 units of insulin. This means that the first time you give yourself a dose with a brand new patch, that first dose will be 0.3 units short because 0.3 units was used to fill the cannula. Remember to check the patch every day to make sure it is properly attached. If for any reason the patch is not well attached, remove and replace the patch immediately. Also, it is important to remove the patch at the first signs of pain, skin irritation, swelling, redness, inflammation, or infection. Apply a new patch to a different site. Check the Change By sticker so you'll be ready to remove and replace the patch before you run out of insulin. Do not lift up the patch to inspect it. To remove the patch, gently lift the adhesive edges. Throw away according to local guidelines. Replace the patch before you run out of insulin. For your next site, choose a new area on your body at least one inch from the last site. For best adhesive results, keep the patch dry for several hours after application. Finally, there are two main safety features of the Secure Simplicity patch, the two button squeeze and locked buttons. You must squeeze both tan buttons on your patch to deliver insulin. Squeezing one button will not deliver any insulin. If the patch runs out of insulin or the cannula is blocked, the tan buttons lock in the squeezed position and no click is heard. If at any time the tan buttons lock, remove the patch and apply a new patch to a new site. If you were in the middle of a bolus dose, remember to deliver the remainder of that dose with the new patch. It is important to check your glucose one to two hours after placing a new patch. This is because the last squeeze of the patch you just removed may have short dosed when the tan buttons locked and the first squeeze of a new patch is short 0.3 units. You've just seen how to use the Secure Simplicity 3-Day Insulin Patch. If you have any questions about the patch, please call customer care. For medical questions, please call your healthcare professional. Thank you for watching.